Praise God, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, wherever you are. It's a beautiful day the Lord has made for us in this wonderful day. And in the month of April, my, my dear friends, we are talking about the heart of God. The heart of God. That is the theme this month of April. And I'm so excited about this theme because every day I learn from it. You know, as I share with you, I learn from it. And I learn just things about God and how to get the power to become. And then, my dear friends, I'm talking about there is rest in his heart. There is rest in his heart. This is very interesting because... Uh, the, the main concept of this particular um, devotion today, I derive from Genesis. That is the main genesis of, of, um, of, of what I'm talking about today. Because I look at the creation story and God's intention at creation for mankind. And I realize a God who has a very good heart and a God who wanted what was best for his children. So today we are saying that there is rest in him because it's because we are saying that if we plug into God, he carries us like a father carries us and makes us rest. Resting is not dying, no. Resting is that I benefit from the goodness of God without doing what other people do. I have an easier life than other people, yet I get the same level of results. You know? You see, if I told you what to sell, if I told you what to walk on foot and sell whatever you're selling across the, across the town, and you sell and you sell and at the end of the day you make a hundred thousand um, Kenya shillings but you're moved from corner to corner in the evening you're tired your feet are sore you're done the whole day then there's someone else who had an idea and through the idea when they were asleep people were just purchasing whatever they're purchasing and the person was able to make a hundred thousand still but they were in bed asleep you see none of these people are lazy they're both working hard but one is in the rest of God. Because in the rest of God, it is finished. If you're already in the rest of God, it is not finished. It requires you. And I talk about when, when, when I talk about prayer. I know that prayer is also born the same way. But prayer from a place of rest is easy. Prayer from a place of no rest is hard. Therefore, I read from 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 56. It says this, Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel. According to all that he promised, not one word has failed of all his good promises, which he promised through Moses, his servant. This is a very interesting scripture about how God works. It talks about he has given rest to his people Israel according to all that which he promised. According to all that which he promised. Meaning that if God promises and I have a covenant with him, I'm in a relationship with him, then my dear friends, he ensures that what I get and what he promised me, everything comes to pass. But now he has a bigger responsibility in ensuring it comes to pass because it is based on him, not based on me. I'm not saying be lazy today. I'm saying that those who get into the heart of God have a higher chance of getting into rest, have a higher chance of receiving what God promised. I read again, it says, who has given rest to his people, you and I, according to all that he promised, not one word failed. My prayer for you today is this, that God pulls you to a place of deep intimacy with him. That you find rest in his heart. And that everything he has promised you may come to pass. And that you don't break a sweat. It finds you wherever you are. Because that is the goodness of God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life, your Holy Spirit, your goodness, your kindness, your mercy that endures through every season. Almighty God, I pray that, Lord, your sons and daughters, your brother, my brothers and sisters, Lord, may they receive, Lord, an abundance, overflow from you, Lord. May they receive, Almighty Father, power and grace from on high. May they receive, Almighty Father, rest today, Almighty Father. That, Lord, they may receive the promises you promised them, Lord. Every single promise you have given unto them, Lord, may they receive for the glory of your name. I pray that, Father, you breathe upon them today. I pray that, Father, you empower them with wisdom, with knowledge and, and, and understanding. I pray that, Father, in the name of Jesus, may you strengthen them in their inner beings today, Lord. May they truly eat the fruit of the land. Because, Father, you are faithful and you are good. In Jesus' name we pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Receive from God, my brothers and sisters, today. Find rest in him. Not a single thing has promised you will fail. Because that is where his heart is. Stay blessed.